Hey y'all, and welcome to our fourth and final installment of Cookopoly. And if you have been following along, you know that it is based on the board game Monopoly, thought up by Carrie over at Weight Watchers with Carrie. Now this week, my role landed on choose a recipe from the WW app. Okay, I did that yesterday. I made the chicken fried steak. It appealed to me because it had the word fried in it. <laughs> that got my attention. And it was chicken fried steak. So, you know, that's a, a southern thing. And it, it had gravy that you made with it. And so, I'm like, I think I can do that. So, I went to the store yesterday morning. Early, I went because I don't go to Walmart. I do the online pickup. So, I went, I was at Walmart at 630 on a Saturday, knowing, you know, I was going to get there before the crowd did. Got, you know, my ingredients that I needed. I come on home. I got busy, you know, filming it, cooking it. And all I'm going to say is, I cannot recommend that recipe. It did not. I just think there are some things that lend themselves to stay in, in their true form. And a chicken fried steak should be fried in fat till it's crunchy and crispy and delicious so take it for what it's worth if you want to try it try it but it just it did not work not for me so I looked all over last night and this morning and I found one that because y'all know we're we're just plain we like, you know, just kind of plain stuff. Well, we like Sloppy Joes. So I found a spaghetti squash Sloppy Joe bowl, however it might be worded. And I thought, well, that might be a good way to get us to like spaghetti squash. Because I have, I have tried it two times over the years. And both times were in replacement of spaghetti noodles with spaghetti sauce. And neither time we liked it. So I'm thinking maybe I just didn't, I just didn't do it right or something. And I, I thought, well, maybe this is one way that we can learn to like it because you cook it and then you stuff it and it just, it looks really good. I hope mine looks as good as the picture does. Now, I will say theirs uses turkey. So the points are, the serving size is a half, one half of the squash. It's a huge serving. My goodness, it's huge. Theirs were two points a piece because they use the zero point turkey and we're not big turkey people So I built the recipe I edited it and put in the 96% lean beef I get down to the store just now and they don't have any the highest they have is 93 So I'm gonna have to go back in mine with the 96 brought it to five Which for that humongous thing was still dirt cheap in the points arena so I'm going to have to run it back through the recipe builder. Obviously, it will either be on the screen or in the description box or both. So, let's just go straight over and just start cooking and see, just see what we can come up with. Alright then, let's go on and get started on our Sloppy Joe Spaghetti Squash Bowls. First thing we need is a baking sheet lined with foil. Now, I'm, I'm going to read these instructions because I think something <laughs> I think something was misprinted. Line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and coat foil with cooking spray. I understand that. Coat cut sides of squash with foil and arrange squash cut side down on prepared pan. I'm thinking they mean coat it with the pan spray. I could be wrong but I mean it's been a long time since I've made one Oh my gosh, I didn't know these were so hard. Are they supposed to be this hard, y'all? Did I get a bad one? Oh my golly. This is not pretty. I can't get my knife out, y'all. Oh my god. Let's see. This is, this is terrible looking. Now see, it don't even tell you you're supposed to scrape that stuff out. I was, I was not, I was not prepared. 
Okay, I'm back. I got all the stuff scraped down the inside. Now, it comes for a three and a half pound spaghetti squash. I weighed them until I got this one. It is close to three and a half pounds as I could get without going over. So I'm just using the olive oil spray. I'm going to put this over here so I can make a mess. And I am assuming, I hope, correctly. Now it says put it cut down, cut side down, and roast for, I believe it was... 35 minutes or until it's good and soft and stringy at 425 now I have my oven preheating but in the interest of time we're gonna go ahead and start cooking the sloppy joe mixture that goes in it and then we'll just pop the squash in once the oven gets up so hold on and let me you know what it just did it as we were speaking so I'm gonna pop these in gather up my sloppy joe ingredients and be right back okay I've got the squash in the oven got my pan preheating like I said in the intro, I'm using 93% lean ground beef because the 96% was out and because I prefer beef to turkey. So, first thing we're going to do a little bit of our spray. Calls for half a cup of onions and I'm just going to eyeball that because we don't really have, um, like we, we don't get crazy if it's too much onions we like onions and this i always have one side act up this is what i keep in my fridge with onions cut all the time ready to go for eggs or anything else that i'm cooking so i'll just stick that aside next thing i'm going to add is our hamburger that up a little bit now I know I am adding the sloppy joe seasoning but if you have seen any of my videos you know that I always tell you to do what season your meat because the sauce will have flavor but you need your meat to have flavor before you even get your sauce on it don't give it too much because there is salt in the sauce part. So I'm just going to cook these together and be back to you when I get it all ready. Okay, now I need to clarify when I was in the middle of cooking this, it dawned on me, this recipe only uses eight ounces of hamburger, not a whole pound. So <laughs> when I get through draining this, I'm going to measure it into here and then just put half of it back in and I'll put the other half in the freezer for something later. Now what I'm going to do first because normally I don't have anything to drain. So I'm going to see if I do this time because normally it's 96 or above. I hadn't cooked with 93 in a while. What I do, I don't know if you saw before since I don't really have much to drain like I said this is just a, an old peanut can I save it when I get cans like this just old grease if you can tell it's frozen keep this in the freezer and it won't sit up under your sink getting nasty and smelly and moldy it's a much better um, solution got this turkey baster on Amazon. I don't know if I have it linked at the bottom or not, but my first one, I used it so much it broke that I turned around and bought the same one again. So, if when I'm editing this, I will look and see if I do have it linked. If you need a good turkey baster, I, I highly recommend that one because I have been through some turkey basters. There are some terrible quality products out there. So when you find something you like, you stick with it. I'm trying not to let this 
pop over the side. Oops, I lost them. Okay, this is three cups. So we're just going to scoop it out until there is a cup and a half left. This is not the most perfect measure, but you could um, obviously weigh it. That's close enough. But for me, I think it is close enough. Now, I turn this down. Let's see. Let's get everything over here. I've got my board up again. I'm going to start using it. Every time I have ingredients, I'm going to start using it because it is very helpful to look at that and not refer over to a piece of paper. So the first thing is a can of no salt added tomato sauce, which is what I happen to buy anyway. So that works. I guess because we're adding salt in, there's a half a teaspoon of salt. I didn't think that would fit in there, but it did. Half a teaspoon of salt. Let's see. Three quarters of garlic powder. This is a um, pampered chef thing. I don't sell it or have any links to it, but if you would like it, it's adjustable and you can get them from pampered chef. They have a tablespoon size one as well. Chili powder, one teaspoon. So that's why I'm liking it for this particular recipe. A lot of times I'll get up my red single ones, but since I have so many variations of a teaspoon, I just thought, well, that would work. And two teaspoons, it says unpacked brown sugar. So I'm just going to loosely put that in there. I personally would pack it because two teaspoons is two teaspoons in my book. Now we're going to let this simmer. I think it said maybe about three minutes. So I'm going to let that hang out, and I'm not going to come back until the squash is done, because then all we have to do is assemble it, pop it under the broiler to melt the cheese, and we're done. Okay, I got my squash out. It took about 37 to 40 minutes, but see how it started burning? I didn't want to leave it in there any longer. I'm just hoping this is going to flake like it's supposed to, but now I'm going to attempt to cut this off. I tried holding it with those tongs. That was not working. So... I'm gonna see if I can just grab it with my instant pot holders and see if I can't just cut that off of there. Yeah, that's easier than I was thinking it might be. Of course your finger this is gonna shred because it says shred it, but leave it in the shell. So well it's working, isn't it? I guess it did what it's supposed to do. Okay, now the next thing, let me put that over there. I have the oven, I'm going to reach around you. I have the oven set on brawl on high. Now we're doing half in each. Um, let me scooch that and see if that helps you see a little bit better. Whew. So I'm not going to measure it. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm just going to kind of smush it down here and cut down the middle. Now using the beef, this came out to be 8 points, whereas the 96% beef was five points this is eight points still look at the giant serving it is huge i don't think eight points for something this big is a bad bargain now it is eight points on all three plans because 
what is zero is zero and what is pointed is pointed there's no pasta so the purple doesn't have anything extra that the other two don't have the other thing that brought it up was they just had some generic reduced fat cheese no name brand no nothing I only have a couple of reduced fat cheeses I can find if it's not fat free this is the one I use a lot the Great Value Fiesta Blend, reduced fat. So it's like double the points of what they had in the app. And frankly, I don't know what cheese they were talking about. If you want to use a different cheese, um, do that. And if you want to go ahead and use turkey, you know, for zero, do that. You can make this, you know, however pointy you want it to be. So just half the cheese. And there again, I'm just eyeballing it looks pretty good though doesn't it I think I might be pleasantly surprised after my fiasco with the chicken fried steak I, I need a little good news now I'm back up I'm gonna pop this under the broiler just for a couple minutes I think it, it says all it's gonna take and so we'll be back after that okay here we have it out it did just like you said took a couple minutes I'm gonna see if I can get this on this plate oh my golly whoops then garnish it with some green onions and there you have it our sloppy joe spaghetti squash bowl i will let this cool off because it is scalding hot and come back and let you know the verdict the all-important taste test okay the verdict is in my husband who i thought was going to be the hard sell loved it he said i have to make it again i liked it the sloppy joe mix like i said a while ago it was a whole lot better than i thought it was going to be I, I was pleasantly surprised at the flavor of it the cheese was good the onions don't leave off the onions you definitely need the onions the only thing that i didn't care for was too much squash ratio to the meat ratio i didn't really care for the squash he loved it oh he, he loved the whole thing so the next time i'm gonna buy a smaller squash they had some that were you know just yay big about two pounds and after i bake them and i scrape the squash up I'm gonna take most of my squash and put it in his before I put the meat on it and then before I put the meat on it I'm gonna salt it and spray it with I can't believe it not butter spray I think that will help elevate that up to meet the flavor of the meat so yeah all in all we give it a thumbs up after that fiasco with the chicken fried steak I did not hold out hope I'll and then the kind of blip with the baking the squash I was kind of like I don't know I really wasn't sure how it's gonna work out but it actually turned out good so Weight Watchers we, we'll give you two thumbs up and so that's it for our last cookopoly we thank you Carrie for thinking of it it was very clever it's very fun thank you for letting me um, join in and that's all if you if you've not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you around so hit the subscribe hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down, hit the notification bell, and have a good weekend.